Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. CNN had carried the issue of a hashtag NSAS protest. In fact, they went further to show um, investigative journalism by bringing out proofs on what went down on that day. Of course, Lion Mohammed responded for the federal government by defending the federal government and saying that, in fact, CNN should be sanctioned. Well, as we speak, uh, the politicians, celebrities in Nigeria have locked horns with Lion Mohammed on his perception and the fact that he's saying that CNN should be sanctioned. In fact, some of their responses were sarcasm as it speak, very, very high, I must say. But before we go into the newspaper to tell you all other things that transpired over the same issue of hashtag answers, I tell you, by the time this channel is over, I perceive there will be a lot of ICC if, um, ICC charges here. But let's find out what will eventually go on before that time. Before we go into the newspaper, I'd like to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, on Wednesday morning, the cable news network CNN, the global respected American television channel, screened a bombshell report based on meticulous investigation conducted by its journalism journalists okay he said the mini documentary which has gone viral online credibly contradicted the federal government nigerians uh insistent that no NSAS hashtag NSAS protesters was murdered by the trigger happy soldiers at the lucky toll gate in october 20th in lagos state CNN's account of what really happened on that fateful night matches the harrowing tale that has been told both locally and internationally by Switch, a young DJ who was at the scene of the crime and has been demonized as a dangerous liar by the authorities. The Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohammed, had expressed views that CNN should be sanctioned for peddling highly irresponsible fake news and that DJ Switch would, if sincere, appear before the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry, which is allegedly trying its best to get to unravel the truth from friction. Mm. Instead of spreading falsehoods in foreign and domestic fora that aren't recognized by the federal government, Lion Mohammed says that there was no massacre at Lekki and that he is satisfied by the roles played by army and police officers. I really wish I could avoid commenting on this sad situation because I'm very fond of Lion Mohammed. I regard him as a senior friend. Now, this is coming from Vanguard. Now, let's continue. He said that the, the, the narrator of this is from Vanguard. He wants to explain to us what happened to him. He said, I was kidnapped in Port Harcourt in 2015, the writer says, and I fled to Abuja to lick my, my wounds. Shortly after, my family paid a ransom that liberated me from two utterly traumatic weeks of captivity in mangrove swamp, Lai Mohammed was the first person to visit me. When I lived into Abuja, trembling, barely able to focus mentally, and bearing scars from beatings inflicted by my captors, and he was so very kind. But at a point comes at which friendship, but a point comes at which friendship should not be allowed to interfere with conscience. And I feel morally obliged to criticize Lai's recent utterances and his government's handling of the lucky double cool in particular and the answers, hashtag answers drama in general. A minister of information has a professional and political duty to defend the administration he was appointed to serve. But if I were in Lai's shoes, I would rather resign than defend the indefensible. Ooh. I used to have a handful of pals who who work for CNN, but my pals have all retired and moved on to other TV stations, and I don't know a single individual who is on CNN payroll at the moment. But I'm an ex-BBC journalist myself, which means that I'm very familiar with the values that underpin the operations of the main European and American multinational media outlets, the writer says. And I think that I can confident confidently declare that CNN is serious about integrity and that CNN has no personal acts to grind against President Buhari or his subordinates, that CNN is only interested in providing his viewers with accurate information and that the CNN film footage depicting uh, bodies, with life was not, bodies with life bullets were not doctored. While federal government spokesmen swear that CNN is medacious, I and many, many other 
onlookers watch with molten sorrow and anger as Niger authorities carry on like dictators rather than Democrats. Ooh, that's really strong, I tell you. Hashtag NSAS activists are being treated like terrorists. Their bank accounts have been frozen. They fear for their lives. The status quo is an absolute disgrace. And the federal government has two options. It can continue to carry on like a vicious bull in China's shop and possibly wind up injuring itself beyond repair or stop. Take a deep breath. Admit to having made some terrible mistakes, apologize, and build a healthy relationship with a populace that is largely hostile. Most Nigerians are not seeking regime change per se. Most Nigerians do not expect total sainthood from those who rule them. Most Nigerians just want leaders who believe in justice, who genuinely care about their welfare, who aren't suffocatingly greedy, who aren't sadistic and who possess the competence to enable this country to fulfill its potential and provide them with bright futures. Well, this is taken from Vanguard. Oops, now that, that's quite big and that's quite strong. But let's find out now what some of the celebrities, some of the politicians have said concerning what um, Elijah Lai Mohammed have said concerning uh, what C CNN said, according to Lai Mohammed, he said that was fake news. Now, now, according to Senator Shiu Sani, he was one time a senator in Kaduna State. But right now, he has actually taken a sweep at uh, Lai Mohammed, the Minister of Communication of Nigeria, this present dispensation. He said, well, NTA should blast CNN. NTA is Nigerian Television Authority. He said NTA should blast CNN for carrying fake news. And he now said, then the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, that's FRCN, should counter BBC we move on. Shaking up. He said, why are we wasting time? We should use our own now. Uh, NTA should blast CNN. And uh, our radio station should also blast the uh, should also blast the uh, uh, BBC for what they have done. But let's find out what another prominent um, um, politician said concerning this same issue. Honestly, it's actually a source site. Obi Eze Equisili as Obi is a quickly one time um presidential aspirant and Ibo woman by excellence uh, said something quite unique she said sanction cnn she's quoting what um Lai muhammad the minister of communication said he said sanction cnn she laughed he said but then again it's not even funny because it's too serious a matter to allow for this comedy What's really the point of the independent she put it in quotes independent panels of inquiry if at Nigerian government have already closed their minds to information based on evidence. Mm. These are real strong words, real strong words. Well, one of our very own Hollywood actor, um, Ugezu, 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 had also taken a sweep at what um, Lai Mohammed said. Don't forget that uh, as the Minister of Communication is in charge of all the federal radio stations and TV stations. That's why they're actually using FRCN, that's for the radio, and NTA to tell him to use them to blast CNN and BBC for their findings and their journalism. While this young man, the actor said, is quite, uh, quite a man, but a renowned actor said someone, somehow, he said somehow the authorities in Nigeria see CNN as an extension of NTA, so laughable what men can do to suppress the truth. Now, these are opinions of several persons. Uh, we took the, v the, 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 the news from Vanguard as one of um, a prominent person that wrote that particular news. And he says something quite very unique. So, look, let's stop moving round and round the circles. If there's, for us to truly heal, justice must be served. And if there, if there are um, truth or facts that are being hidden, it will make sense. The healing process is going to take a very long while for it to come to pass. For us to truly heal, we all have to lay everything on the table the way it is. Transparent, open, apologize, uh, be sorry, and let's move on as a nation. Even the Pope have said something that, look, in Nigeria, we should be tolerant of one another, especially when it comes to religious tolerance. But right now, Nigerians are not even looking at tolerance of religion right now. We're looking at the fact that we want better governance. We want transparent governance, what integrity, what, what 
basic amenities. We want our lives to be secured. We want we want those things that drive us away from our country. We want to uh, take us to another country and we are comfortable in people's country. We want to see same and better in this country. We are blessed as a nation and we are asking for better bo- bo- governance. And I don't think it's too much to ask. Anarchy is gradually coming in simply because Nigerians are sick and tired of hearing the same old story. You can imagine so many just recently um, uh, the security personnel, the police attached to uh, the Honorable Speaker uh, mistakenly, you know, shot someone dead. And right now, Moyele Sowe is gathering momentum to go on a protest because all lives matter, including Nigerian lives. That's what we'll wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation. Let's interact. What's your take on this quite strong news?